Hey guys and welcome to Rosa Scale. So today I will be sharing my newest automation workflow in make.com that allows you to create articles like this one. This is a featured image, a pretty long and very, very in-depth article, custom CSS, which is then superseded with this amazing infographic. And today we'll see together how I'm able to create articles like this one. So before we start, a few words about the whole process. So I am very big and I have been very big on uh, deep research or deep search for a while. Thankfully, there are numerous tools, many of them free, that have those imbued capabilities. So inside of this process, it all starts with deep research, which is step number one. Then I will be using multiple LLMs to write the actual article based on this deep research. And the beauty of this approach is that you can either use different LLMs like Gemini versus Jupyter versus Claude, or you can use the same, say, DeepSeek version 3 to get three variations of the article. Then there is going to be an evaluation module that has a scorecard with specific criteria to judge these articles on. And finally, this workflow creates featured images and infographics. So if you think this is something that is helpful to you, stay tuned. So let's get to make.com and I'll show you each of the modules. So it all starts with a simple Google Sheet. It's nothing fancy. It's literally just a few columns like keyword, title and slug. And I'm using a formula that you can copy to create slugs. Nothing fancy once again. This is a formula that capitalizes each of the words in the keyword. So Kandark's it longer is then converted into its capitalized version and then a slug. And this is it. So during the first stage, we are connecting to Google Sheet. This is the spreadsheet I'm after. Sheet name is Sheet 1. And basically, these are the rows that uh, the automation is going to reference. You select Choose Manually, and you can choose a specific keyword from the list. You can use this for bulk production. We'll be using this just once based on a keyword. Then the second module is Open Router. I'm very big on Open Router because it gives access to a lot of different NLMs. And here I'm referencing the keyword, which is column A, which means that this is the keyword that I want to write on. This is the prompt search on YouTube and Google search to create a comprehensive report, including case studies, facts, numbers, statistics on a requested keyword. Make sure to audit the sources that you base your report on. Only include the highly relevant sources and exclude the relevant ones. Let me know the results of the report. Sometimes this fires back. So let me just skip the audit part because sometimes it will show up in the actual article. So this is a prompt. You can copy it off of the screen. And the important thing is that I'm using perplexity. Llama Thonor 70B Online, which is uh, one of the very few models that are connected to the internet without the external scrapers. So if I were to choose any other non-perplexity models, they would just uh, be using the training base, the database. They won't be connected to the internet, but this one is. This leads to the second module referencing the keyword. So I'm compiling a report based on the keywords and then I'm creating an outline based on the keyword. Write me an SEO optimized outline. I wanted to follow the F shaped or the reverse pyramid reading pattern to make sure that the most important information is in the beginning of the article. I'm giving it a few SEO friendly guidelines like title under 55 words, introduction in the first 100 words while using the primary keywords, insert one instance of the target keyword in at least one H2, ensure semantic variations of the keyword and its derivatives uh, that should appear naturally in the first two thirds of the article, stuff like that, nothing fancy. And again, for this, I'm using Perplexity Llama 3.5 Sonar 70B Online. Then this is where it gets interesting. So I'm basically running three LLMs one after another. Again, a very simple prompt. Using markdown formatting, write a comprehensive search and time driven 2000 word article with bolded words, lists and tables. Base this on the keyword. This is the keyword from our Google Sheet. Then base this on the outline. And this is stage two. So if we go to choices, then message, then content, this is our report. And the same goes for the outline. So this will be our outline again under choices, message, and this is the outline. And here, as you can see, I'm using GPT-40 mini. Again, for the testing purposes, I was intentionally choosing inexpensive LLMs. So I was not 
choosing DeepSeek or O1 Preview, for example, stuff like that, but you can. The second LM is basically a clone of the first one. So what you do is you go clone. The only thing that is different is the LLM. So this time it's Cloud 3.5 Haiku. And finally, a third LLM with exactly the same prompts is using Gemini Flash 2.0. Then, and this is important, this is the evaluator module. It's currently using Gemini Flash 2.0 and the idea here is to use a model with a very large context window so we can effectively read article 1, 2, 3 and compare them between one another. So something like GPT-40 mini will not suffice and this is a prompt. You are tasked with evaluating the quality of the three articles based on specific criteria. Your goal is to analyze the article thoroughly and provide scores and explanations. And these are the three articles from LLM1, LLM2, and LLM3. The main keyword associated with this is these keywords, because I want to double check everything against the keywords as well. Now evaluate each of the articles based on the following criteria. And the criteria is search intent alignment. So how well the article addresses the search intent, introduction quality, because we all know that we need to hook the reader during the first 50 words, assess whether the interaction is short to the point and effectively hooks the reader. Then it is very important that the article directly answers the main question. So determine if the article contains a direct answer to the reader's question early in the content and if it answers it directly without unnecessary fluff. And this can be actually said about the conclusion. So I don't like long conclusions. Uh, this could be added to this uh, scorecard. And statistical relevance. Evaluate whether the article includes or references relevant statistics or data to support its points. And then some of the things to make sure that there is variations between the articles and that each article is indeed measured and scored separately. Then what happens is this prompt here. Maybe there is a better way, but I, here again I'm using a, an LM with a very large context window. So basically it reads all the three articles once again, it looks at what the evaluator said, and it outputs the article which is a clear winner. Then it transitions to Claude 3.7 to create infographics around this final article. Then it converts to Markdown, Ideagram, again a very simple prompt, basically saying to create a featured image with text that is the same as the keywords, that overlays or is displayed over the main image and I'm using the v2 turbo model here finally this is published to WordPress I've tried publishing this together with infographics and separately sometimes it gives amazing results and combines everything into one article but sometimes it will butcher the infographic so it is better to just copy the infographics from here and paste it into the article separately so let's just run this to see what happens so what I'll do I'll go choose where to start choose manually. Then the keyword in question is going to be does a GLC writer pass here detection. And all we have to do is click on run once and see the magic happen. So once again, I gave the workflow the keyword. Then it went on to form deep research and I'm actually asking Perplexity to watch YouTube videos because it can, to some extent at least. Then I'm creating an outline based on the keywords. Then each of the three LLMs, which are different LLMs, are taking the keywords, taking the results of the research and the outline, and creating 2000 word articles. Then the evaluation component, and it is very important that you're using an LLM with a very long context window, is deciding based on a scorecard on which of the three LLMs produced a better result. Then we're transitioning to Claw 3.7 to create infographics. So the workflow is now transitioning to Ideagram to create a featured image. And it's already created the infographic. And now the post is being published. So let's take a look. So if we go refresh, we should now have a draft. Let's take a look. Does the GLC writer pass a detection? A beautiful featured image. Nothing is butchered since this is Ideagram. Amazing, this is custom CSS and looks good. Okay, some data. And again, this is on a shorter side. Uh, and this will depend on the actual LLMs that you're using. And I've just remembered that I've actually disconnected the infographics from the workflow. But I did it on purpose. So what you can do and what you should do is go to output, choices, message, content. And as you can see, this is already wrapped in HTML. So you know this is going to be good. 
copy this like so. You can go to a tool like Code Beautify and then see the amazing infographics. What I would actually do is go to the actual article, edit post. Again, this is on a shorter side, so you can do this in the beginning of the article or in the end, custom HTML. And this is what you get. An amazing, amazing infographic. Looks very professional. And then your article. And if you preview this, this is going to trigger my custom CSS and this is going to look even better. So this is one hell of an article. Amazing. So guys, this make.com template is going to be posted in my school community. I've slashed the prices. It's very inexpensive. You get my flagship health content mastery course and that automation is going to be inside of that course. We also have the niche research, niche hunter course, which has been updated with uh, 21 different methods to find niches. You have your text communication academy. You have amazing, amazing custom tools like Radius Insights Generator, like Keyword Research Tool, like the Uncensored 10 Key Story Generator. You get group coaching, which happens twice a month and many, many, many more things to come. So if you want to replicate this process, you can just pause this video. I'm basically giving all the prompts that you can take off of the screen. But if you want to streamline this process, this template is going to be in my school community. Hope this was helpful and I'll see you soon. Cheers.